Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, just an ordinary guy. And today we got a tool review, so hang tight. All right, so today I'm gonna do a review on this Icon uh, snap ring player set. I've never bought anything Icon. I hear a lot of people talking about it and I figured I'd give it a shot. I needed to buy a snap ring player for a project and we'll go out and I'll show you what happened and what I need it for and then we'll, we'll review this. But before I get started, I got more and more subscribers coming and man, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for doing that. Um, we're just building up and building up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and there, there is a promise I will make to you. You will never hear me cuss. You will never hear me badmouth another person or channel or anything like that. It is not in my makeup and that's not what being a man is all about. So that being said, I can drop an F-bomb from time to time and I can get mad over stuff and I can do things, but I will never do it on my channel. So that being said, uh, subscribe, hit the little, isn't there a bell or something you gotta do? Yeah, whatever, anyways. Okay, so let's get into this um set here i haven't even opened it usually when i show parts i have them already opened up and i've already looked at them and because i don't i don't know about this unboxing video thing that people do but i'm not going to do an unboxing i'm just going to open it so here we go uh this was this was 70 bucks 69.99 i didn't try for a discount i just went and got it because you know whatever i needed it and I wasn't gonna play the try to find a coupon disc or thing or whatever. I don't. But I guess I could have if I wanted to. But anyways, um, this here. Let's see. Let me move us over here and raise us up. There we go. Something like that. Now, like I've stated in other videos before, we're we're in the process of of uh, uh, selling this property and buying another property. So my workbench and everything is just a freaking mess right now. And uh, so I'm having to do everything here. So freaking is not a bad word. So anyways, we get into here. It's kind of neat, it's got a hard case for it, but I'm gonna probably throw the case away because, I mean, who needs to carry a case of snap ring pliers around, you know? And I, I, maybe people do, I don't know. Maybe if you got it on a, maybe if you're in like a service mechanic or something, got it on your truck maybe, but I'm gonna throw these in the box with my other snap rings, snap ring pliers. And so I'll show you what I, this is the one that was after right here, the one with the 90 degree. I needed that one here. But these seem, <clears throat> these seem pretty good. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's eight in here, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's eight of them in here. I got innies and outies both. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how these look. Um, that's a pretty stout one there. I mean, that's a big snap ring player. You see, what my issue was, and I'll, I'll show you on, it's on my uh, on my mini excavator outside. I have a, a hydraulic ram blew a seal and I needed to, to get it out. So this is a snap ring that I was pulling out. And let me get into my pliers here. Um, this one here, what brand are these? I don't know. Uh, Wald's or something like that. But these are these are good. I like these. These are good snap ring pliers. Um, and this one here fit in there. And I was able to, you know, do the deal. But I needed a 90. And I didn't have anything at a 90. So I do have this here, which is kind of like a duckbill kind of deal. for. Uh, so I thought, well, I could try this one. It's got a little bit of an overhang right there, you can see. So I, I was sticking this in there and trying to get it to come up, come apart and it would, but then it would slip out. And you know, if you get the, one of these things out and they slip and they'll shoot out and I'd lose a snap ring or maybe bounce it off my glasses or something, who knows? Um, with my luck, it would go bounce off my hat and hit me in the eye. You know, that's, 
that's how I do it. So, um, anyways, that's that's the deal. So, I don't know. I think those are okay. But let's let's shut this off, and I'll go outside, and I'll show you what 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 my uh, issue is. All right. Well, here's my mini excavator. It's a Bobcat 325. It's a nifty little machine. I got to tell you, got the thumb on it, the thumb attachment, and. I've pulled motors with this. I've loaded cars on trailers with it. I've, you know, we've we've raised animals out here for several years and I've, you know, whenever I've had to put one down, this is how I get rid of it, I bury them. And, you know, just built my son a BMX track with this and oh, just, just all kinds of things. You know, you can grade stuff out with it, with that, you know, to a certain extent, you know. Um, but yeah, it's a great machine. So, one of the, this is my issue right here, you know, for this, this right here is the uh, backfill blade or for grading, and it has a hydraulic ram on here that you use to, to raise and lower the, the blade. So, um, the seal right up in here is bad. So when I go to lift it up, it just sprays fluid everywhere. I and mean, you know, it's bad. It needs to be replaced. That's why I got the blade sitting up on a chunk of concrete right now so that's the snap ring that's the doohickey that i couldn't get my uh, snap ring pliers into so i got to come in you know with that 90 so so that's the issue so let me let me set this camera up all righty so first use first use of my icon snap ring pliers Let's see how this works those guys in there. And basically what I'm looking for is to not break the tips of them off. Come on, get in there. Come on, there we go. All right. Well, Let's see. Yeah. So that's a pretty that's a pretty stout snap ring. And it didn't it didn't affect the tips of them at all. So, you know, all right. That might be okay. Time's going to tell. Time will tell on these things. So, I already took this other one out. Just got to get the pin out. I should take those loose. Okay. Small block Chevy uh, fuel pump push rod. It's hardened. It makes a great punch. I mean, you don't want to reuse it, you know, but it, it makes a great punch. You know, this one was, was messed up. Somebody had welded on it or something at some point. I pulled this out of an old motor and I thought, you know, that'd make a neat punch. So, hey, I made a punch out of it. So, but don't even need it out here. See how this one goes.
Well, this pin's still good, but it looks like I haven't been greasing it enough. So I'll have to, in the future, make sure I put a little bit, a little bit more grease to it. So, all right, that thing's out. You can see, but my issue is, see, well, not there, but this thing has got, usually you can't move these things back and forth when they're not connected. Let's get this over here. If you could see right in there, the, the, the seal's gone. There's a section of seal gone right there, so. I'm gonna take it down to the, uh, there's a hydraulic ram place that repairs stuff like this, and rebuilds them. They've did, they did the one of these, I think it was the top one they did a couple years ago. So I'll have them do this one. This one leaks too, but not very bad. So I'm just kind of going with it, get this thing done and that'll be it. So let's go back in the shop. Yeah, I'll just run that, that uh, ram down and get it, get it taken care of. I need to get that machine back together because like I said, we're moving and uh, which brings up a, my, my shop here, the Ordinary Guy Garage is getting a huge upgrade. So stay tuned for that. Um, the new digs are gonna be pretty sweet. So, so uh, uh, and I'll be able to get a lot better videos. So, but anyways, that's coming up. Um, and as far as uh, these things here go, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay with these. 70 bucks, eh, you know what, I'm gonna pull them out of this plastic case. I'm gonna toss the plastic case because I don't need that. And I'll throw them in the drawer with my other snap ring pliers and they will probably last me quite a while. That was a pretty, that, that snap ring was in there pretty good and it's had a lot of tension. It was a pretty good size one and it didn't affect these. So, you know, I can't say these are gonna last me a lifetime, but as much as I use snap ring pliers and as often as I do big ones like that, I feel like these will probably last me a long time. So for 70 bucks, meh, I'm happy. I'm happy with them. Um, and for a guy like me who just works on his own stuff, yeah, okay, that'll work. Um, if I was gonna throw them in my service truck, um, if I was a service mechanic, if I was gonna throw that case in my service truck, maybe I might want better quality, I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the quality. I mean, they look like they're done pretty well, but I can't say, those tips. I've broken these tips off before on cheap ones and uh, these seem to hold up so I can't really say. But for me, good. <laughs> Rambled on about that, didn't I? So, but anyways, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know it was kind of just a little, you know, but here we are. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and subscribe if you haven't and uh, I'll see you next time.